So in this quick video, I want to give you some very key support levels and some uh, numbers for you to keep an eye on as it relates to Shiba Inu so that you, when you're looking at you know, your account and you're keeping an eye on your SHIB holdings and things of that nature, or you're looking to get into it or, or you know, whatever it may be, uh, these are some key support levels and resistance levels that you need to be aware of from a technical analysis indicator side. Okay. Real quick video, going to make it for you. Here we go. Let's do this. Okay. So right here, right now, SHIB, as of the recording, this video is trading at this 1098 level down about 4%. It's actually come back a little bit. Uh, it was down a little bit more, down about 6% earlier today. Um, and the overall market is trending in a little bit more in the positive direction. The overall crypto market was uh, down about 6.5% earlier today as well. Okay, so SHIB, some, some key levels that I want you to be aware of. Okay, so right here, right now, if you look at the 24-hour trading range, it's been trading between 1065 and 115. That's the 24-hour range, okay? Also, I want you to be aware of is that we have a really key support zone that I want you to be aware of, where SHIB has been trading in the range of in that 1000 range, all the way up to about 1400, give or take. Okay. That's approximately kind of this trading zone that we've been in now for a while. Now, I'm also going to set the stage and tell you that everything that's going on with SHIB right now has a nothing to do with Shiba Inu. What I mean by that is that SHIB's price movement is moving in direct correlation to the overall price movement of the entire crypto market. Okay. The entire crypto market has been pushed down from a $2 trillion market cap all the way down into these one, two range. Yeah. In the last, uh, in the last 48 hours, we were able to get back up over a one three trillion dollar market cap. We've been pushed back again. The bears are in control. The bulls are just not here yet, right? And we've got a situation playing out where a lot of macroeconomic factors are, are playing out. Uh, we got a lot of fear out there. Again, there's a lot of fear and uncertainty. This is the fear of green index. We're at a 13, which is extreme fear right now, which which actually makes a lot of sense. Fear of recession. Um, everything costs more. Fuel, gas uh, costs more to go to the grocery store. There's a less discretionary uh, discretionary income is money that you have left over after you pay all your bills to be able to maybe do some investing with in stocks or crypto or whatever it may be. By the way, the stock market has been kind of similarly, similarly beat up, if you will. Okay. Okay. So back to SHIB and, and some, some things to look out for. So here's some key things I want you to look out for. So key support level is that one O range that we're currently in. Worst case is if we have continued some more bearish pressure on us, if the overall crypto market continues to be bearish uh, and, and there's that, you know, that pressure, if you will, we could drop back to an eight. Okay. So that's what those, it's kind of a worst case scenario here. Okay. So that key resistance level. So resistance is above us, right? So remember I mentioned that we've been trading, Shiba Inu has been trading and I'll show you in the last seven days. Let me show you this real quickly right here. So Shiba Inu, and if you look at the seven day chart, okay. If you look, we've been kind of, again, we've been, we've been in this down as low as this kind of one O low, low one O level. And then it spiked up to kind of that, that one, two, one, three, one, four it has spiked up and been just right below that one four level. Okay. So that is our resistance level is that first resistance level is that one four means that risk is a resistance means we've gone up and we've been pushed back from that resistance level. So that's the next major one to be aware of price to look out for, right? So look out for that one four range. Hey, can we break through that one four range? If we can, then the next range after that is that one seven range. Okay. So these are your things to keep be aware of your support level. We've been here for a while. We're in that one O to one four support range. Uh, worst case scenario is we've got another support level below us at, uh, at an eight level, basically give up a zero, go backwards with an eight. Uh, that's kind of worst case support level and resistance to get through is that one four. And then after that one to one seven, if we can get through that, if we get back, if we get back and continue to bring back some, some bullish momentum in the overall broad market, it will equate to Shiba Inu starting to move up as well. All right. That's what I got for you. Thanks for giving me a few minutes of your day. Have a good one. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later.